What's up guys, Slaughterfits back here with another video. This time I have another, you guessed it, Skyrim build for you guys today. Uh, this build I'm calling a monk build. It's basically a pure mage, as in no armor, version of my uh, paladin build. And so basically, you know, someone that uses restoration and uh, specializes in killing undead. So, you know, this would make a lot of sense if you were role playing as, you know, a follower of Meridia or something like that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So this guy is a pure mage, and I kind of forget if that's a term I just made up or if other people use that term, but basically what I mean when I say that is that he doesn't use any weapons or armor, he only uses magic as his weapon and, uh, you know, alteration spells like uh, ebony flesh as his armor. And so, you know, as you can see, this guy has an armor rating of zero because he just uses uh, clothes. But to go over what clothes I picked for this build, also what uh, enchantments I picked, uh, starting off with the boots, um, I did stamina enchantments, and you know, you might kind of be like, well, why do you need stamina? I almost never put stamina enchantments on my uh, pure mage guys. But you know, I was thinking about it, and it is pretty helpful to be able to like run around a lot and like dodge attacks and you know, light them up with spells and, and stuff and be able to run around. And so that is pretty helpful, um, so, you know, that's why I chose to do Stamina. And then for the Copper and Ruby Circlet, Alteration Spells cost 28% less to cast, Restoration Spells cost 28% less to cast. This guy is basically an Alteration and Restoration uh, Mage, so, you know, you're going to be seeing more of those enchantments. And gloves I enchanted so my magic has increased by 70 points. And then I did sneaking. Honestly, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, just because there wasn't really another good enchantment for gloves that fit with this build. But, you know, I was thinking, well, you know, sneaking, it could be helpful. I mean, I'm not really going to show it off in this video. But, you know, for an overall playthrough, it is always helpful to, you know, be able to sneak good so you can sneak up on people. And for the gold diamond necklace, I enchanted it so my health uh, regenerates 35% faster and is increased by 70 points. And then the gold diamond ring, I enchanted so once again my health regenerates 35% faster and my magic regenerates 70% faster. And then monk robes, um, I'm not quite sure where you can get these. I mean, I know you can just probably kill one of the priests or monks that are in a, you know, a town around Skyrim. But if you, you know, don't want to murder someone, you might be able to find these somewhere, but, you know, I'm not quite sure. There is also a hooded uh, variant, but if you're wearing the hooded variant, you can't have a hat or, a, you know, any sort of headwear, so you kind of miss out on some uh, bonus enchantments. And uh, headwear is one of the best uh, things for, you know, mages because, well... Maybe not the best, but the only enchantments you can get on it uh, are kind of like mage related and archery related. Um, so, you know, it makes sense that you'd want some headwear as well. Alright, so for spells, this guy uses Ebony Flesh and Closed Wounds, as well as Guardian Circle, Stendar's Aura, and Sunfire. Um, so, all of these, with the exception of uh, Ebony Flesh or Restoration, Ebony Flesh is alteration, so you want to get, you know, do both of those. Um, Ebony Flesh, if you don't know, is, uh, you know, provides protection and basically armor. So when running into battle, I'd probably start off with some Ebony Flesh. And then probably move on to, uh, I'd probably do Stendar's Aura second. Because uh, any undead in melee range take 10 points of sun damage per second. Which is actually pretty damn good, in my opinion. And then... Um, I would probably switch to Sunfire and Close Wounds, so I'm able to, you know, heal myself in battle. And then Sunfire, let me, uh, demonstrate, and I might as well turn on Stendar's Aura. You guys saw it a second ago, but I'll do it again. Stendar's Aura makes this, you know, aura around you, and then, uh, Sunfire, basically just fireballs that are especially good against undead. Um, let me in so I can show you they look slightly different and explode into a slightly different kind of look um, so yeah and you could obviously because the spell is literally called Stendar's Aura you could you know uh, you know role play as a vigilant of Stendar or some other you know form of you know Stendar follower um, but you know it doesn't matter too much you could just kind of pretend it's another <laughs> you know spell of some other Adra or Daedra and then finally for the last spell, I'm just going to go ahead and wait an hour so this sound goes away. 
but for the last spell is Guardian Circle. So this is a master level spell, so this takes both hands, and it has a little bit of a charge up. So, uh, you know, you have to have some time. You can't do it right in the middle of battle. But basically, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So it basically makes this ring around you that, uh, let me go ahead and confirm. Yeah, so basically any, up, uh, up to level 35, so basically besides pretty high level ones, any undead will run away if they enter this circle, and uh, so they can't, you know, chase you, and you heal 20 points per second inside of it, and that is really damn good. So basically it just is a little circle of like really good healing where almost no undead can attack you. So yeah, so basically this build, just like my Paladin build, is all around kind of anti-undead, um, which you might be kind of thinking, hey, that's not a huge aspect of the game. You fight a lot of things besides undead. Well, you know, screw it. <laughs> I did an anti-vampire -vi build. I'd done anti-dragon builds. Um, so, you know, it's time to do an anti-undead build. Um, so yeah, obviously this can be paired better with, uh, you know, other spells to make it an overall better build. Um, but the idea behind this one was an anti-undead. You know, I just thought monks, I don't know, seemed like they would want to, you know, kill all the undead in name of their god. Um, so yeah. And so the only real skill trees you'll need is alteration and restoration for this. Obviously I did enchanting too, so I was able to, you know, enchant the clothing. But, you know, for the actual play part of the build, uh, you'll really just need alteration and restoration. So for alteration, you're going to want to uh, basically max it out besides get a uh, master level. So, you know, a uh, novice all the way through expert and then atronox you, you absorb 30 percent of spells that hit you stability so they have a greater duration mage armor three so they're three times as strong um and then oops uh magic resistance three so you block 30 percent of spells effects and uh dual casting of course and then for restoration you want to get novice all the way through master oops so you can do uh the uh circle spell for easier and uh, dual casting, of course, re uh, recovery too, so your magic carry generates 50% faster. Avoid death, so once a day you heal 250 points automatically if you fall below 10% health. That's helpful for this guy because he doesn't have any armor, so that can sometimes happen quicker than you would expect. Regeneration, uh, healing spells cure 50% more, and necromage, all spells are more effective against undead. What? It's just like bandits in here. There's no dragger. All right. Oops. All right, guys. So we're here to test out the build. But first, I wanted to ask you guys a question. So basically, every time I make a build, this fucking whenever I'm trying to record the gameplay of it, this fucking Boethia cultist dude comes up and fucks with me and ruins it every single time. You know, I just have to spend a while killing him every time, but if anyone has a workaround or a way to just like get rid of Boethia cultist, that would be greatly appreciated, or like a quick way to like take him out instantly. He just ruins like every video and makes it take way longer because he pulls up and like I have to stop what I'm doing halfway through filming and kill him and it's super annoying and he like follows me around the entire map so yeah if anyone has any suggestions on how to get rid of or like a mod that just like deletes Boethia cultist that would be greatly appreciated but we're here at some random ruins to test out the build against some Draugr I started testing it out and then you know he came and fucked everything up so now we're gonna be retrying um, so start me off with some ebony flesh and some sun uh, some Stendar's aura and then I wanted to show you guys, this is how much Stendhal's Aura does on Master Difficulty, just with no other attacks against a, you know, a restless Draugr. 
you know, you could kill him from literally just that, and uh, this is what it's like if you pair it with the Sunfire. Uh, it is a very quick, spammable kill. Normal skeletons basically get killed by just the Stendar's aura. He didn't survive past doing his little animation. And the spell costs next to nothing, so you can really just spam the crap out of it, and it works really well. Um, but yeah. Alright, just testing out the Sunfire against some skeletons. It seems like it's like a one tap. Yeah, it's a one tap against uh, normal skeletons, but you know, if we're being honest, what isn't? not expecting a vampire anymore. Let's see, uh, does this count against undead? Oh, shit. Okay, close one. Move out of my way. Alright, so I'm not completely sure if this is gonna work, but I'm curious. I guess she is undead, so let's see if these apply to undead as well. I mean to vampires as well. Yeah, it actually is doing damage, and a Mistwalker is a pretty high level one, so this is actually a pretty good thing to test this build out against. I didn't even really think about testing it against a vampire. But she is actually pretty, pretty good. She's a lot better than these Draugr. Let's see if this Guardian Circle works against her. Well, she... <laughs> She doesn't say, I guess she knows what the deal is. She seems like she doesn't want to go in it. Um, so let's try this one. Oh, yep. Yeah. So yeah, that made her run away. And, uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck this ski, bro. I'm just gonna do it out. <laughs> Get the hell out of here, you asshole. Okay, so that made her run away, so let's go see if we can find her now. Oh, yeah, so she's just here hiding in the corner doing invisibility, because I guess it, you know, makes them flee for like 30 seconds or something. Oh, yeah, okay. So I actually took her out pretty good as well. So. I guess this could also be kind of looped in as an anti-vampire build, basically just undead in general. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of this build uh, down below in the comments. If you think it's trash, if you think it's great, let me know. Um, yeah, and if you haven't seen my paladin build, I would definitely check that out. Because I'm going to let you guys on a little secret. It's just a better version of this build. It is just a slightly better version of this build with armor and stuff, so yeah. Um, but, you know, if you were looking for the pure mage version of that build, then, uh, you know, you found it. It's this. So yeah, let me know what you think of this build in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, peace.